Welcome back, friends. Today, we're going to take an image and we're going to convert it into a silhouette and then make a photo collage out of the silhouette. So I'm going to start off by placing an image of a baby boy on my workspace. And so I'm going to take this image and I am going to start off by removing the background. Now, before we actually convert this image into a frame or photo collage uh, frames, we need to figure out where we want to place the photos. Uh, that's very, very important. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put some lines on my workspace. So I'll press L and that will place a line on my workspace. And I'm going to um, use curved lines. So I'll select um, the curved and I'm going to take this uh, line here and I'm going to curve it around the baby kind of to create or to separate the hair from the face. Um, so I'll do that like this. I'll place another line on my workspace. And I'm now going to continue to be to place lines um, everywhere. So I'm going to kind of speed this up so you don't have to watch me do this. Now you want to make sure that the lines are actually touching one another. That's very, very important. All right, I believe that I am done. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go into position and layers, and I'm gonna grab all of these lines that I made, and I'm gonna turn them white. Okay, so I've grabbed them all. I'm gonna click on the border color chooser, and I'm gonna click white. And that will, let me zoom out. And that will kind of divide my whole a photo, my current photo, into different sections. So now is the time that you just want to check to make sure that all of these different sections are large enough to place photos in. Now I've got this little section right here. I'm not sure that that is, this little corner here is large enough to place a photo in. Um, and you might want to also divide this square into four, but I'm going to leave it like that because I just want to show you how to achieve the effect and then you can use your own photo to generate your own photo collage uh, using uh, your, your own photo. 
Um, so I'm going to leave this like this for now. And the next step that we're going to do is we're going to take this photo and of the baby and we're going to turn it to black. So I'm going to click on the uh, image and I'm going to go into edit and I'm going to go into duotone and I'm going to choose the custom option and I'm going to turn the photo um, to black. So I'll change both the highlights and the shadows to black. And now we have kind of an outline. Um, we can see better where the photos are going to uh, be placed. So at this point, I'm going to go to share. I'm going to download this. I'm going to download this as a PNG and um, I'll just press the download button. I'm now going to go to a website called convert.io and I'm going to bring that file in here that I just downloaded. I'm going to go to um, two and I'm going to choose the convert to vector SVG. Now this website is totally free to use. So you don't have to worry about having to pay anything. There is a limit on the number of files that you can convert in a day, but I've never reached that limit. So it's actually pretty good. So I'm going to click on the orange button to convert. And now I'll click the download button to download that image. We're now going to go to a program called Figma. And we're going to create a new design. And we're going to bring in that SVG file. So I'm just going to name this design. And I'm going to click on the menu here and go to File and Place Image. This is the file that I downloaded. So I'm going to say Open. And I'm going to place this on my workspace like that. OK, so here is my image. Now, when we look at the left side, we're going to notice that all of the vector section that we created, they're all here individually. And that's OK, because if I click one, there's one frame. If I click another one, there is another frame. Now, when you are making the lines, you want to make sure that the lines are actually extending either and connecting to another line or they're coming straight out past your actual silhouette. Don't leave it halfway in between or a little bit in between because what will happen is the vectors beside will merge and that will create one frame. You don't want one frame, you want two frames so that line needs to come all the way out into the white um, area or past the silhouette. Um, so now what we're going to do is we are going to grab all of these vectors. So I'm going to grab um, the first one right here. I'll go to the bottom and holding down my shift key, I'm going to select them all. Let's go over to the right panel now. And over here, there's an area for fill. I'm going to click on that black. And up here, we're going to notice a uh, um, an option for image to place image. I'm going to click that and that's going to um, say to uh, Figma, I want to be able to use this to place an image. Um, that's how we're creating the actual frames to bring back into Canva. Um, and now when we go back to our left panel, these vector uh, sections are still grouped and that's great. Because if we were to ungroup it, what would happen is we'd get um, 16 individual frame files exported into uh, PDFs. And we don't want that. We want, want one PDF with all of these individual frames that we can use. Okay, so we're now ready to export this uh, into uh, down into a PDF. So I'm going to grab uh, the, the group and I'm going to come over to export and I'm going to in the export, I'm going to select PDF and I'm going to export the group. Okay, there we go. That group has been exported. It's now time to go back to Canva. And so what I'll do is I'll create a new page. And I'm going to grab that PDF file 
and I'm just going to drag it right into Canva like that. You're going to notice that it is uploading. Here it is right here. And once it's done, I'm going to click it and that will place it right on my workspace. Now, when I click one and separate it, you'll notice that, that is its own individual frame. Now, what we're seeing here with these um, checkers is we're seeing uh, images. So if you want to actually see the frame, you just need to press your delete button and that will reveal the frame. So all of these are now individual frames where we can place images inside. So, um, you know, you can start to place uh, all kinds of different uh, images in here and create that photo collage that you want to create um, for that special occasion. And that is pretty much it. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to press that like button, subscribe, turn that notification bell on. And if there's anything else that you want to see, place it in the comments. I'll put it on my list of things to, of tutorials to create just for you. For now, my friends, I will say bye-bye until next time. Bye now.